All right. My other new acquisition that I'm pretty excited about is this right here. It's an old Sewer Badger 18 head, all tube, tube rectifier too, um, with London power scaling in addition to a master volume. Um, can't get too loud today, so I can't demonstrate that feature too graphically. Hopefully I'll be able to do that in a future video. Still running through my latest Hamer acquisition, my birthday present, my Newport Pro Custom that I just got. Gonna do this a couple of ways. Um, the uh, Badger is famous for being a pedal platform amp. So I've got this ancient Bonsai Fireball 2 overdrive, dual overdrive. I've got it set on the no compression setting on the toggle switch here. And I don't know if you can see the controls there. I've got the volume way up and the gain way down on the regular overdrive setting. Um, excuse me, got the volume way up and the gain way down. Had it backwards in the video. Um, for the boost setting, I've got the gain up a little bit. So it adds some pedal dirt in with the signal boost, but mostly I'm using it as an overdrive to boost the input of the Badger. Um, now, so I'll show you that first with the Badger set up kind of clean and then using the Bonsai to get some overdrive out of it. After I do that, I'm just going to unplug the pedal entirely, put the guitar straight into the amp and uh, open up that gain control a little bit because what really impresses me about this thing, and I know I'm talking too long at the beginning of a demo, sorry about that. What really impresses me about this thing is how magically it seems to clean up from playing dynamics and from the volume knob on the guitar. And so I have to admit, I am sorely tempted uh, when uh, COVID restrictions relax just a little bit more, we get out and get to gigging a little bit more to try this out. I actually kind of want to take it out in front of an audience and try something I've never really done except in private jamming uh, and it is just take the amp, the speaker, the guitar, and the cable and nothing else and just run straight in and do everything from the guitar. So that's the second way I'm gonna demonstrate this little beauty. Um, but first we'll dial in the amp kind of cleanish Again, bridge pickup, Seth Lovers, uh, my new Hamer. And there's no standby switch on this, so I'm just waiting for it to warm up a little bit. And then I'm going to open the power scaling just a little bit. But again, the rest of the family home, so I can't really open this up all the way. It's a loud 18 watts. I've got another 18 water, uh, a Buddha Superdrive Series 1. It's a loud 18 water. This one also is a loud 18 water. There's the, there's the cleanish sound right there. You can hear there's a little grit in it. Now part of that is added by having the power scaling so low. It gives you sort of an, an overdriviness to the sound. Part of that is the output of this guitar. The pickups combined with the semi-hollow construction. It's just, it puts out a lot of volume from the guitar itself. So I can roll back the volume there. You can, you can hear the cleanness. just slightly for those rhythm tones. I just put it all the way wide open and get some treble back. The uh, pedal that I'm running through, the Bonsai, is true bypass, so you lose a little high end without a buffer. 
uh, when you roll off the guitar's volume there. That's still the neck pickup. And you can hear it's not entirely clean. Switch to the bridge pickup. This is with the volume wide open. So it's breaking up a little bit there. Now I'm going to hit the main overdrive of the pedal. Hopefully it's not going to wake up the rest of the house. That's bridge pickup rolled off a little bit on the guitar's volume. sensitive to playing dynamics even with the overdrive pedal on. the main overdrive on. Here it is with the, uh, the dual overdrive, the boost added. up with the boost on. That's not, that's unboosted, boost off. present without the, the pedal circuitry in the way. That's when the guitar's volume rolled off just a little bit for rhythm tones. Alright, let's see what we got here. And this is guitar straight into amp. All of the overdrive is coming from the amp now. volume all the way up. That's where the guitar's volume down. Probably a little over halfway. as loud as the guitar is and as hot as the pickups are. That's pretty clean for as much gain as dialed in on the amp.
back. A little muddy on the neck pickup. Not quite so much so on my solid body guitars. So this may be more of a guitar thing than the amp thing. It still cleans up pretty well, especially if I dial that back just a little bit. Bridge pickup. Both both pickups. I can't speak English anymore it is truly impressive um, curious to see how that's gonna play out at full volume with uh, bass and drums kicking behind me um, like I said really tempted just to try the whole guitar straight into amp old-school ride the volume knob thing with this this thing it's, uh, it's fairly bassy part of that is the Bogner cab I'm running it through is closed back and ported so cab brings a lot of bass into it, but it's it's got some bass in the circuit to begin with. So you see I've got that dialed back. Be curious to see how that does live. My suspicion from opening up, opening up the power scaling a little bit is that uh, more volume will give it more edge and more cut. Uh, but we'll have to find out and I will report back once I know a little bit more about that. Anyway, those are my new goodies this year. It's been a good gear year. Uh, thanks for letting me share it with you. Have a good one, y'all.